Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're working on a Poland Pro 24 inch cut snowblower with a 208cc engine on it. Uh, the customer brought it in the other day and I took the gas cap off, and the gas smells pretty bad. So, we're definitely going to have to clean out the gas tank and clean the carburetor. So, hope you enjoy the video. So, it looks like we got to take a lot of shielding off just to get to the carburetor on this. Click a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. So, we'll just start popping them off till we get everything off and this choke lever up here them should be pressed on there there we go well, it looks like we have to take this top cover off this muffler here so now like the older snow blowers we just took a little piece of sheet metal off and the carburetor was right there Still got to take stuff off. Well, I guess that wasn't too bad. I got to take this shield off too, but I guess take the fuel line off here. Then just rock it back and forth to break the seal on it. There we go. Then we'll take the governor rod off up here. In the spring actually well it wasn't too bad but i'm gonna go ahead and clean the outside of this carburetor before we tear it apart so that dirt and stuff don't get on the inside okay we're gonna go ahead and take this bowl off kind of remember where this drain plug is so we put it back on it'll be about in the same spot well that thing's tight holy cow i'm gonna go stick that in the vise real quick Man, that is tight. When you put these back together, you don't need them bolts that doggone tight. Holy cow. I'm going to add some dirt in the bottom of that. And see if that ethanol gas really stretched out that bowl gasket. We're going to go ahead and boil this thing out. And on this side over here, that red thing right there, that's your pilot jet. You got to take out your eyeling screw. And we take that out, kind of see how, many, how much is sticking out on this side here. So when we put it back together, you get an idea how far to turn it back in. Here you pop that screw out. There's just like an O-ring that holds that on there. And that's your pilot jet. You got to make sure right there that that's nice and clear. I'm going to go grab a wire here. If this is plugged up, it'll cause it to surge. Just make sure that's nice and clear. You can see your wire through that hole right there. And make sure your O-rings are in good shape. But I'm going to go ahead and boil this out because, like I said, that gas smelled really bad. We'll boil that out, and I'll find a new bowl gasket. We'll put this back together and see if we can't get this running. Okay, put the carburetor in there. Okay, when you get them blown out, make sure your main jet, stick your carburetor cleaner hose in there and shoot out. It should be a nice clean spray inside the carburetor. And check the rubber point on your needle. If it looks good, don't replace it. If it's leaking gas or something, I would replace it. Get our pin put in there. Got our bowl gasket in there. And on these here, there's two little lips. And we got to put this drain plug on the side of that fuel inlet. See how it locks to the place where it can't turn. Make it nice and snug. Don't torque it on there like that thing was on there before. And our pilot jet, we used our wire to clean that out. So, just pushed it in there like that. And just turn it to about where it was. I believe it was about like right like that. But, you know, once you get it going, you can fine tune it. So, that's all pretty much is in the carburetor. So, now we can go ahead and put it back on the machine. Well, I cleaned the carburetor. I drained the tank and I blew it out. 
Make got every drop of old gas out of there. So the tank is nice and clean. So we'll pop our governor rod in there. Then we gotta put the spring on there. Pop in that little hole like that. Make sure everything's working. Put the fuel line on. Get our clamp on there. I'll go ahead and tighten these up. I'm going to hook this primer hose back up to the carburetor. Okay, now we got to get this on their ways, and I have to have some room to put that primer hose on there. Start getting it lined up so we can start some of these bolts. And for right now, just get them started. Don't start tightening until you get them all on there. And we got these two up here. And now we're going to go ahead and tighten them down. Then you'll check your plug. I threw a new plug in here while everything was off. I was cleaning the carburetor. It's a lot easier. It's kind of tucked in there. And always check your oil. I'll show you where the drain plug is on these. Let's get this stuff tightened up here. Make sure everything's working. I'll show you where the drain plug is on these. If your oil is black, it's good to change it while we're getting all this done. Well, here's your drain plug for your oil. It's 10 millimeter and the oil's right on full. I change the oil when I clean out the carburetor and these use a 1030 motor oil. About 18 to 20 ounces, but you know, always check it because each one could be different. All them Chinese motors. But our next step is to put some fuel in it, see if we can get it started. Okay, this got it off the table. Put some nice premium fuel in there. Got our cord for the electric start. Put it on, on the primer, make sure that keys it all the way. Fuel's on. Well, there you go. Runs like new again. Anyways, appreciate you watching the video. If you like my videos, please subscribe and press the like button. Anyways, you have a good afternoon. Bye.